welcome everyone in this video lecture we will solve a get 2007 question which is based on the trend current calculation in a cmos inverter and in this case we will identify in which mode the transistor is operating which is very important to find out the trend current so the question is in a cmos inverter the transconductor parameter for the NMOS and PMOS are given that is our KN, KP, LU, mu N, COX, W by L of N and mu P, C, COX, W by L of P equals to 40 microampere power voltage square and this corresponding threshold voltage are 1 volt VTN and mode of VTP 1 volt so we have to find the I current that is our trend current and the VDD value is 5 volt and this value the gate value we can say the 2.5 volt so few important facts that we can say very very important because this one is our gate of nmos this one arrow always signifies the source terminal this one is source of n1 this one is our d of n1 d of n okay and this one source of pmos so i am writing gate of p just as a practice d of p and this one is our pmos so you can write pmos and n mos okay so now this question is very easy is it either saturation and linear but how to identify it is saturation and linear this one is important so okay so that thing first i will show then i will solve this question because you must have to know the basic so this one is a cmos inverter so what i am doing i am just making the characteristic curve okay for the cmos inverter that is our v output and v in okay and everyone knows the cmos inverter characteristics look okay this one we can say this one is a vdd okay and this point i am saying v t n okay so this one is a cmos inverter characteristics okay now what we have to know for nmos when nmos is operating okay and so when vgs we can say the gate to source voltage is less than vt vtn okay or here we are saying the get to source voltage is less than vtn okay below this point so nmos will be in the off state okay so this one is in the off state this one is in the off state so output will be just our vdd so output v output will be vdd okay so in this situation we can say this at this point i am writing here N MOS in the off state or we can say cut off cut off so here this one is in the cut off state okay very simple when get to source voltage is less than VTN but we don't know in what state the PMOS is okay so PMOS we have to think okay we have to think in what state PMOS in this in this region okay at this at this point so now for the nmos we know the characteristic that that when vds is greater than equals to vgs minus vt is in the saturation region this one is very basic concept okay okay once again i am just drawing the graph for this one okay so thus i am writing id and vds now i am saying this point is our vgs minus vt so above this one after vgs minus vt it is in the saturation and this point is in the linear region okay so vds is greater than vgs minus vt it is in saturation region so that's why i am writing for the nmos okay so now just think about in terms of v out and 
so for the time being i am saying this point is our vr okay actually i want to show you how to identify in which region it is operating so when vds is greater than equals to vds minus vt suppose this one is a saturation and for linear vds should be less than vds minus vt in the linear region so i am just taking the saturation one so i am writing here vds is greater than equals to vds n minus vt n okay i am writing n because this one for n more so we can write as vd n minus vs of n greater than vg n minus vs n minus vt n i am writing a step by step so this should be cancel out then vd n is nothing but simply our output so we can write v output greater than equals to v g n is nothing but simply we can say this as a input so v in minus v t n so this one is the condition for the saturation saturation region okay if you know the this one we can easily say in which area so now i am just making one line that is our v output equals to v in okay now vtn is there now this equation v out equals to v in now if we, we have to plot just i am plotting this one is passing through origin v out equals to v in now if we want to plot v out equals to v in minus vtn okay something minus suppose this one is y and x so i am writing y and x now we have to plot y equals to x minus 1 something 1 okay so it will go one unit down so directly i am writing uh, drawing here this value will be our v output equals to v in minus vtn okay it will go down i am not showing the lower one okay clear so now vt n now what we, we will say if it is greater than v out is greater than so v out will be more above this portion so what we can say above this portion it will is in saturation try to understand this point okay in this region it is in the saturation region only this part portion so okay so this one in this region we can say in this region okay i have to in this region our n mos is in saturation okay in this region but we don't know the p mos now but after certain time we will say okay now similarly if we go for the what p mos p mos condition okay so for p mos condition what we can say i am writing here for PMOS, PMOS transistor, when it is in saturation, just write VSDP and what we can write, the same equation, but, okay, better to write VTSP will be greater than equals to same thing, but just reverse the S here and D here, VDSP, VSGN minus VTP, everything will be same. So now, in this case, what we what we can write V D S P. Okay. So if we solve this one, or better to better to write in that fashion, it will much easier. V D S P. Okay. 
less than equals to vds of m minus vtp it will much better write everything vds n vdsp vds n minus vtp with a opposite sign okay everything will be same this one for n mos and this one for the p mos again source will end will be common in both so we can directly write vdp equals to uh vs uh, sorry this should be vg 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 and vds so this should be vgp better write p minus vtp okay simply you have to write vdsp vgsp minus vtm so now here this vdp is again our v output okay and v in minus vtp now this vtp is negative so minus minus plus we can say so now if we plot this one v output then it, this this one is nothing but simply our v output if we equate equal equal it then it should be minus v in plus 1 volt so 1 volt is nothing but simply plus 1 v out equals to v in then just draw a line here this one is minus vtp okay so now what we assumed, uh, uh, what we have find that VD V output is when less than V in minus VTP is in saturation. So the curve will be now down. The curve for this one will be down. In this side, in this side, it is in the PMOS is in also in the saturation region in the particular region in this particular region okay in this region also PMOS in the saturation region okay and above this line above this line above this line PMOS in the linear region so in this case we can say this this one is in the linear region okay PMOS in the linear both here NMOS is the linear and in this case PMOS is in also in the linear region in this case now in between both in between both are in saturation and in the end we can simply say NMOS linear and PMOS in saturation and at the at this point at this point we can say the NMOS in saturation and PMOS in the linear region. So, the, in, the, in that way we can easily understand the which in which region the transistor is operating. So, our one is somehow in the middle. So, 2.5 volt is there. So, both transistor is operating in the saturation region. Saturation for 2.5 volt gets voltage. Okay. For more detail, I will give you the a complete video of this concept in our description box okay so now this one is in the saturation region now we know the formula so we can write directly id 1 by 2 mu n c o x w by l any one equation we can take v g s minus v t n whole square so it should be 1 by 2 into 40 into microampere per volt square then it should be 2.5 volt minus 1 whole square so one can easily write 1.5 into 1.5 okay and doing it step by step 100 okay this should be cancelled this should be cancelled 2 then 5 and it should be 3 so it should be 45 microampere so ID value will be 45 micro ampere. So ID or I current that is flowing through this one will be 45 micro ampere. So this is the correct 
answer so actually this diagram it's quite difficult to see here so that's why i'm just trying to make a very new diagram okay i have to select the pencil first okay now what i am writing here in the y axis v output and v in and the characteristic curve is somehow like that so this one is vtn okay so here the n mos is in cut off and p mos is in the linear region and now what we have assumed this point is our the n mos when saturation region the v output will be greater than equals to v in minus vtp that's why it is going down now one more equation when we are saying this one is your minus vtp okay so above this point this above this one i just above this point the n mos is in the saturation region for this particular region okay for this particular region okay and for the p mos for the p mos this should be our v output will be less than v in minus vtp so here it is in the saturation region below this one this one for the saturation condition so this will be in the saturation so in between both are operating in the saturation region and this in this and above this one p mos is in the p mos is in the linear so p mos linear and n mos saturation okay here both n mos and p mos saturation and at the end p mos cut off and n mos in linear and then in between here p mos is in saturation and n mos is in the linear because this one is a line above this one it is in saturation so below this one n mos is in linear region so this one is all about i will give the a detailed description of this one in the description menu so this is all about this concept how to solve this type of question okay but how to identify it is most important in which region it particularly work so it is all about this question so thank you for watching this video